Hello, this is Second Story Garage. I'm Quentin Young here with Bud Bronson and the Good Timers. And if you if you notice, <laughs> Bud Bronson actually does have a good time, like yeah. all the time. Like I don't know, like if there's beer all over the place. We're having a good time here. And and you're often when when I've read about you guys, uh, you're often described as a party rock band, which you know. I don't know if you like that. Or yeah. yeah. What's that band called? It's like where all the zombies are dancing in the street, and it's called Party Rock Anthem. It's those two DJs with crazy hair. What's that band? No. You know what I'm talking about. I, I don't know. People, I, don't know. I know people know what I'm talking about. It's Somebody like out there might. These two Somebody. idiots. That's who we're trying to be like. Yeah. Yeah. To be like that. Yeah. yeah, those guys. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, well, you get, you do get the image and uh, that you guys party all the time. Is that true? No. no. Absolutely not. No. Do you actually go home and, like, you all have families and, like, a, a white picket fence and, like, a yes. dog and everything? No, and we're, like, you... we're like the Yoppers. We go home and read Walt Whitman. <laughs> right? Is that yeah, what it is? Yeah, and like, David Foster <laughs> Wallace. <laughs> David Foster <laughs> Wallace. Yeah, 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 Infinite Jest. We have really, really early bedtimes. Yeah. You go to bed early. Brian, oh. you actually went to J school. Yeah. Right? Did you say? And that's not jail for you, all you folks listening at home. That's called the <laughs> journalism school at CU. Right. Yeah. And, I you, went to and here you school. are in the yeah. newsroom. Yeah. You made it. Yeah. yeah this is it. <laughs> I'm really this happy to, uh, yeah, to kind of <laughs> circumvent like the helix. Now we're back at the same yeah. spot. We'll be like this then and now forever. Education. So, like. <laughs> You, uh, Brian took a nasty fall. Here. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I, I just fell off the stool, literally. Do, do you want to talk about a little it? Right yeah, I was. No, I really. was looking at Forrest, the back of Forrest's jeans because they're Levi's, but they're not real Levi's, and I wanted to see what the tag was like. That's all. Mm-hmm. Forrest, may we see your tag? Uh, come on, I don't know what. What kind of jeans? I don't know, you need what, to know what kind of jeans. It's like a you Target knock. Denzel, you Denzel, Washing- or Denzel, Denzel Washington's. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Denzel I think. Oh, those are they're Levi's. Oh, yeah, you were just they're trying like, to... They're like platinum tags. You were just trying cheap, to sound blue collar. It's, it's like the Bud Pat, Pat, Platinum of Levi's. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what we're going to do a serious interview right. now. Okay, we're ready. All right. Have we started? All right. You're, you're... <laughs> no. All right. Let's start now. <laughs> okay. So, oh, okay. Uh, Pioneer Iron, which is a song you did for us yeah. today. Yeah. And you introduced it as a song about uh, a weight room at a high school. I didn't catch which high school. Yeah, uh, New Providence High School. It's not really about the weight room so much. It's kind of about, um, that's just a funny thing to say. Uh, it's it's about when your, your friends you grew up with, you uh, live in different places and you lose touch with them. And you kind of just pretend everything's okay. And you maybe you talk to, your, to each other once in a while. But uh, you don't acknowledge the growing rift, and uh, I, I think that it's cool to maintain that, and I think everyone wants to do that, um, and that's what the song's about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a it's like a positive way to have like a nostalgia rock, uh-huh. nostalgia anthem. And, and by the way, there is some nostalgia in, in your music, and particularly for uh, the '80s, I think, unless I'm wrong. I mean. Uh, you talk about like '80s cars and doing '80s. Yeah. Uh, cars Forrest told us all about the '80s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the '80s expert? Yeah. Why would that I'm, be, Forrest? Oh, uh, because I'm their father. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dad, can we go to Jack the Spawn, the please? <laughs> you showed up. Wait, wait. I, I, I wasn't. Anyway. Like, I just wanted to. Like, I was reading on your website, and you know, uh, let's just describe Bud Bronson here. Bud Bronson is the raging hellfire of a Friday night. Bud Bronson drives an 88 Ford Bronco, there's the 80s, and never gets his oil changed. Mm. Mm-hmm. I would say uh, Greater Than Collective wrote that for us. <laughs> That's all oh, our record okay. label. They're trying to mark us right, into something that, that we're not. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll tell you what, uh, this is a serious interview, so let's talk about okay. Uh, okay. serious business. Your all first right. LP Good. yeah, coming out this this year yeah. in, in September. What is it called, first of all? That. It's called Fantasy Machine. Fantasy Machine. What can you tell us about what people can hear on this LP when it comes out? Um, three, two of the songs you heard on this, uh, on these videos. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fan, the whole title "Fantasy Machine" implies the uh, uh, kind of the mythology of rock and roll and how that can deliver you into this fantasy world and how awesome it is to escape into that. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Right. So that's that's kind of the the, the common thread through the through, through the whole thing. Yeah, and yeah. that's linked together through themes of friendship and nostalgia and hanging out forever and prolonged adolescence and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, do you feel like that's something you're 
you're uh, living or, or knowledgeable about or... Yes, that's something or I'm living. Or aspiring. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in a band, I mean, yeah. if you're in a band, you get to... Yeah. You have glimpses of that, yeah. You get to live that. I mean, we all work, we all work jobs outside of this, so we're kind of like stuck between, you know, the work and then the, you know, being in the band and tour life. And, but it's that, it's that constant kind of back and forth between the two. Yeah. Right. I don't, yeah. It's, I don't think, I mean, I'm sure there are bands out there and I'd love to hang out with them, but I don't think that that hardcore 200% all the time, like rock and roll lifestyle is a sustainable one. But it's still really nice to like, like, have that fantasy, mm-hmm. and it's always it's kind of one of those things like the grass is always greener. You know, it's like yeah. when you're at work, you're just like shit, man. I just want to like go hang with my friends and play music and stay up until six in the morning. And when you do that all the time, you're loving it. But at the same time, you're like, I kind of want that white picket fence. You know, I kind of want a grill that yeah. has a p- full propane tank. Yeah, <laughs> oh, so, so true. Just, like, we just got one yesterday. It's <laughs> really excited. About it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, what, what's cool is that this album uh, potentially could get you to that that fantasy. I mean, that's part of that's part of. Like, we're counting. We're counting on this, not no our album. Second just, story. Yeah, yeah. Second yeah. Story. From this moment on, you're we're living done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna call my work right now. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. I quit. Uh, second story garage. I quit. I'm going on the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Bad. Uh, so anyway, so we'll look for that. And uh, thanks for letting us live the fantasy for uh, yeah. a little bit this afternoon. Thanks. Oh, Thanks, absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks yeah. for coming in. Uh, Bud Bronson and the Good Timers, this is Second Story Garage. Watch the videos.